What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the 100 Day Drone Challenge. You already know the deal. It's day 13. It's almost been two weeks since we've started, which is absolutely insane to me. But we're going to be doing, guess what? More gestures because hell yeah, baby. Uh, I haven't got as many as last time, but you know what? The idea is still there. So hopefully we're even better than we were yesterday. But we all know artists have good days and bad days, so even if it does go bad, I won't I won't be mad. Alright, let's just get right into it. Let's do it.
Okay, so you know what? I've finished. Today was kind of like, hmm, I don't know how to feel. Like, I felt like my drawings were accurate for the most part. Like, actually accurate, but at the same time, I didn't feel proud of any of them necessarily. Like, I can say most of them were good, uh, but I can't say, yes like yesterday, that one of them was just insane. This one especially feels wrong to me, but... I think it's that arm here that kind of gets rid of that realism. I mean, this is fine, right? That pose. Yeah. By the way, um, uh, but yeah. See you again. I feel like I still need to get the hang of like the proportions of the chest compared to the hips. I'm kind of playing with them in each one, to be honest. Playing with the proportions. Uh, kind of exaggerating it, making the chest smaller, making the hips bigger. This one was kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure about the feet. Again, I don't know the general shape of the feet in half of these. This one was good. I enjoyed this one. Although I redid it a few times, but that was good. And then we got near the start here. This one was cool because I started adding like clothing. You can see the hood's massive. Uh, but like it does take a while for me to get into the groove when I draw these. The first two I redone and I'm glad I did because these newer versions are way 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 better. Though I can't really tell what's happening here with the lag. I feel like it would be lower down there. Let's fix that right now together actually before we finish. So it's this layer. I'm gonna fix this leg, this entire leg. Doing this curve kind of made it read nicely, but then uh, you also have to like... Yeah, so you'd be like... It'd be more like this. Because then the leg behind it... You can't see what's going on behind there. I don't know what's happening with the hip here. I'm just gonna assume it goes like that. 
Again, just marking. Make sure to mark the... The way everything is bending. And I like this, and then to the side here. Like this. Imagine like you're drawing tights. Like striped tights. That's basically what's happening. Like this. And then the arm does this. This one's doing this with a forearm. And, and in the bicep area as well. See, now you can read the image a lot better. Once I put these in, it gives that sense of 3D-ness to it. Uh, but yeah, no, these were tougher, man. The skateboarding one's the cleanest one, I think. The very first one. Of course it is. But, oops. There we go, draw some of those on. Nah, I'm, I'm just trolling at this point. But yeah, no, that was fun. Again, just learning slowly but surely. We're getting better. I mean, compared to what we did, what was it, day, whatever, when we first did gesture and perspective and then gesture the first time, these are way, like, better than what those were. Because at least here I know what I'm doing now. So that's really cool. But yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. But apart from that, I'll see all of you tomorrow for a special video. Peace out.